Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you have taken time between the last couple of videos and now to really think about God's story and to think about your story. And in this video, we're going to combine the two and that becomes our message. So God's story plus my story becomes my message. In other words, how God's story has been applied to my story or how God's story has been applied to my life becomes the message that I share with other people. Um, and then on pages 39 and on, we have a few pages that look like this. They're storyboarding of my message because we've already uh, solidified God's story and we've already solidified our story. Now we just combine the two in storyboard form uh, in order to actually be able to have our message. So let's walk through my story a little bit so you can see an example. So in the uh, page 39, um, and you can see on page 91 in your uh, journal what I'm showing you here in this video so that you can reference that again. But here's my story. So at the age of nine, my sister gets saved. She goes to camp at the age of nine and she gives her life to Jesus. She comes back from camp. I'm nine, I'm not 10, so I wasn't able to go to camp until the next year. But she said that she gave her life to Jesus. So I didn't know what that meant. So I began to ask questions. At the age of 10, I would write this out in my storyboard. At the age of 10, I go to camp. I hear the gospel. I give my life to Jesus. At the age of 15, I feel called to ministry. I feel like God is calling me to ministry. It scares me to death. because Not because I, I wanted to be rich and famous or anything like that. I just knew that I'm an extreme introvert. So when God called me to the ministry, I knew that I would have to talk to people. I was scared to death to talk to people. So therefore, I, I ran from that. So at the age of 15, I also put in my storyboard, I begin to rebel. I'm like, no way, I don't want to be in ministry. So I begin to rebel, trying to prove God wrong. God, you've chosen the wrong person, right? And then at the age of 18, I lack peace in my life because of my new lifestyle. I'm not living the Jesus way of life, and therefore that gives me no peace. So I begin to pray for help. I did not know that I was praying for a car wreck, but God allowed me to go through a car wreck um, that actually God used to wake me up to my lifestyle and to turn me back on the right track. That's a whole nother story. Um, but then at the age of 20, I begin my first ministry. Funny enough, God calls me to the ministry at the age of 15. He still gets me to go into ministry. It just took me a little bit of pain to get to that point, right? But this is my story, okay, of how God's story has been applied to my life. And then in the uh, eighth box, I would write down, invite people to receive the grace that I did. This is how I storyboard at least a section of my life, a section of my message, okay? You have your own stories. What I would encourage you to do uh, in this section is to bullet point or storyboard, block out little sections of your little micro stories, okay? And make about a 30 second, one to three minute uh, little micro story based on each of the blocks, okay? So I could spend a minute talking to you about when my sister came back from camp at the age of nine. I can tell you uh, some more details about my experience at, the, at camp at the age of 10. I can tell you a little bit more about whenever I felt like God had called me to ministry at the age of 15, when I began to rebel, my car wreck, all of those things. They each have a little micro story that allows me to develop a macro story, a bigger story, okay? So you can have a one to three minute little scripted story based on each one of these little storyboard boxes that will help you to better articulate God's story, your story to become your message. So between now and the next video, take as much time as you need to really think about and storyboard your message. Again, I think most Christians today don't share God's story. They don't share the gospel for no other reason than they have just not taken the time to actually write it out. So take the time to write it out because this is the most important story of our lives.